You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Live. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness. If you're a New York Giants fan, you're put out of your misery. Jason Garrett is gone. Jason Garrett has been shown the door by the New York Giants. They have fired him after 26 painful days. I mean, it's like watching an uh, offensive performance that is constantly constipated. Get off will you shit or get off the toilet. It's just stuck. It just won't move. Well, luckily, you got Freddie Kitchens. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, Giants fans. Fire Jason Garrett after 26 games, TMZ. Jason Garrett is jobless once again. The New York Giants just fired him only two years after the Dallas Cowboys let him go. The team announced the move Tuesday, saying they're, they've canned their offensive coordinator after a disheartening 30-10 to loss to the Buccaneers. Of course, the move is far from surprising. New York's offense under Garrett has been underwhelming since head coach Joe Judge brought him in before the 2020 season. Garrett's offense finished 31st in points scored out of 32 teams last year and ranked just 25th in that category this year. And I wonder really how high that would be. They had a couple of big games where they scored some points in there. I bet if you took those two outlier games out, it would be a train wreck. Oh, more of a train wreck than it is. Perhaps the most alarming was the play of franchise quarterback Daniel Jones, who has appeared to regress. Jones has thrown seven interceptions this season to just nine touchdowns, and he's also fumbled seven times as well. It's unclear where Garrett, who famously the Dallas Cowboys head coach from 2010 to 2019, will end up next. As for his OC replacement in New York, former Browns head coach Freddie Kitchens is reportedly a front runner to take over the job, and I think he's already been given the interim tag, according to places like Pro Football Talk. So, Giants fans, you got Freddie Kitchens now as your offensive coordinator. Probably better than Coach Clapp. You think he's clapping right now? I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. At first, I actually thought this was a pretty good hire. I thought it would bring some stability. I thought maybe he could develop a, a, a young quarterback, have some play-action game going, and it just didn't work out. It was a train wreck from the beginning. And the other thing is, and we've got to bring this up, the Giants can't keep their offensive weapons healthy. They just can't. At some point, when can you just come out and proclaim that Saquon Barkley's a bust. I mean, when can we actually come out and say that? I mean, I think he's had he had that one really good year. But if you can't stay on the field, I mean, really, it, he it's always something. And it's greatly hurt their run game. Evan Ingram can't seem to stay healthy. Kenny, Kenny Galladay? I mean, why in the world did we decide he was a number one wide receiver? I mean, I understand in Detroit where there's a true, true lack of talent. They kind of twisted and molded him and kind of made it look like with smoke and mirrors he was a number one. But he feels more like a number two. Now, that Kadarius Tony, I don't love his attitude, but that dude has a ton of talent. And I do mean a ton. Jason Garrett is gone. That's it. It's a wrap, Giants fans. Good luck with Freddie Kitchens. I actually like Joe Judge. I do. I kind of hope he turns it around there. I don't know that he will. They're probably all going to be run off. Tell me what you think, black and white life fans. Jason Garrett, gone with the wind. Coach Clapp, out. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.